So Starfield is coming out soon and you want to play on your Steam Deck, you're an ambitious guy and I'm here to help you. You're scared of the thermal throttle, but if we look for a Steam Deck dock that could handle the throttle and bring down the temperature for the Steam Deck, we maybe can play it on 30 frames per second. That's a maybe of course, but I brought you something here that probably will solve our problems. So we're gonna unbox this Steam Deck dock that has a fan in the back. We're gonna see how the Steam Deck dock is, if it, is it good or not, and then we're gonna test if it brings the temperature down for the Steam Deck and get us ready for the Starfield release. But is this a sponsored video by Unitech? No, it's not. They send me this product and they tell me to review it. They didn't pay me for it, so they might get some bashing in here. Okay, this is our dock here ready to be criticized. Apparently this is a cooling dock, so it's supposed to cool your Steam Deck, but we're gonna test that later. Let's unbox it first and let's see what's inside. So this is the box, it just tells you the functionality and how the dock looks like, but what we're interested in is what's inside the box. This is gonna be a simple unboxing, it's not gonna have so much inside the box because it's just a Steam Deck dock. Uh, so this is the dock itself, let's just uh, put it to the side. Uh, here we have our manual, let's uh, look at it for a bit, flick it and then throw it to the side. And then uh, let's see what we have. Uh, here we have our USB cable this is mostly used for let's say for display port I'm not sure yet uh, so we're gonna plug it into a, an external display let's see if it does a, a USB-C to USB-C display and this is the box so there's nothing else so let's just throw it to the side and let's look here at our Steam Deck dock. This is the dock itself. As you can see here, you have two USB-A ports and a USB-C port here, which is uh, always welcome to have. And then at the back, we have our charging cable, of course. And then we have uh, here uh, two USB uh, ports. Uh, I believe one of them is for display, so we're just gonna test that as well. And then we have an HDMI here and a gigabit internet uh, port. And here you have your uh, fan, of course, which uh, rotates, um, I don't know for what reason and then here we have our steam deck resting here next to the fan which this is supposed to cool down the steam deck so let's uh, test it okay so this is our steam deck dock we're gonna try to connect two displays with these wires so the steam deck dock does not specify if the USB port allows you to connect an extra display so we're gonna test this out to see if two displays can run at the same time this is so important to a lot of people so we have to test it before we go to the cooling test so let's get started So as you can see here, we tried everything and only one display could work at the same time. The USB port is only for DC and AC power and for connecting uh, peripherals, but you cannot connect another display using the USB-C. So that's kind of a letdown, but uh, one display sometimes is enough. Let's go to the next step and see if it could cool down our Steam Deck once at a high temperature. So the Steam Deck is now connected to an external display and what we're going to do here is we're going to run Warzone into the highest settings and then get the Steam Deck to heat up and then we're going to turn on the fan which you turn on here from the side to the highest settings because it has two settings and then we're going to see if the Steam Deck manages to bring the temperature down or basically if the Steam Deck dock could manage to bring the temperature down and if it could improve our performance. Before we start I want to tell you about this screen I use. This is the Arzupa G1. This is a gaming screen as you can see here. It is running uh, the Steam Deck on the 1080p, 144 hertz, which is quite amazing. I left the link for this in the description below if you like to grab it. So I have noticed a problem here. Since my screen is being powered by the dock itself via USB, every time I turn on the fan, it does not have enough power to turn on the fan and turn on the screen at the same time. So I'm going to turn on the fan now, as you can see, one, two, and it's going to turn off my screen because it cannot handle this much power so I need to power the screen externally f not from the deck because the steam deck cannot handle power on the screen and turn on the fan at the same time all right so I've been running DMZ for the third time now and these are the temperature I'm getting as you can see here it's 86 uh, on the CPU it fluctuates between 86 uh, 85 and then sometimes goes to 90 and here is the temperature for the GPU as well as you can see it's 83 sometimes goes up uh, to 87 89 and goes down to 82 so this is the temperature here it's quite stable uh, it goes up and down a little bit but let's see if we can bring it down or make it more stable with the steam deck dock so what we can do here we can to uh, turn on the fan on the side so let's just give it one press and as you can see here the fan will be turned on uh, the fan uh, has RGB colors so it will tell you when it's turned on so what we can do here we're gonna watch the temperature for this uh, steam deck dock with the fan turned on so as you can see here the time for the game is uh, 22 minutes left I'm gonna leave it for 10 minutes let's see if it cools it down to a different temperature or improve the temperature for us here on the steam deck
So DMZ has been running for around 10 minutes, a bit more than 10 minutes, and here are the temperatures that we have. 81 degrees for the GPU and 83 for the CPU. These temperatures are more stable than before. Sometimes they go to 84, 85, but they never go to 90 like before. So as you can see here, the cooling does work, but does not provide you with a huge difference when it comes to temperature control. So will this help us with Starfield? Well, this little thing here, I left the link for in the description below if you want to buy it, helps us with the temperature a little bit. So we can uh, expect temperature reduction with five degrees, sometimes three degrees, but it makes the temperature more stable. There's no spikes in temperature like before so this helps a little bit so will this help with starfield i don't know yet this helps with modern warfare warzone 2 but i will post a short video after when starfield comes out and i'll test on starfield to let you know if it helps or not so that's it for me guys if you have any questions about this leave a comment in the description below and i'll reply to you if you want to see a benchmark using this and to see the temperatures with a benchmark i will post this in the short just ask me for it i don't mind doing that so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel subscribe and as always Peace.